the Atacama Desert, one of the most remote and driest parts of planet Earth. Surrounded by volcanoes of the Andes, a mountain range, not just a chocolatey after-dinner mint. The dry, salty desert attracts a very strange visitor, the flamingo. The flamingos of the Atacama are pink, a color somewhere between red and white. Its body is strange, with a long spindly neck and wobbly legs that look like sticks out of a Salvador Dali painting. They gorge themselves on salt brine krill, one of the few aquatic animals that are able to survive in the Atacama. That is, until they get gobbled up as snacks by the flamingo. The flamingo will honk at each other, seeking a mate, or perhaps asking God why they were born such strange creatures. This flamingo is obsessed with his own reflection, nature's own narcissist, who has yet to be taught a lesson in excessive vanity. He will spend hours attempting to kiss, caress, and mount himself. Perhaps he will drown. This little bird is not a flamingo, and therefore of no interest. Go on, you little bastard. You're just a bird. Maybe if you're lucky in your next incarnation, you might be something interesting enough to look at. But for now, move along. While the flamingos are the masters of the saltwater lakes, they are no match on land for the apex predator of the Atacama, wild ass. One of the most useless species of South America, these donkeys are so stubborn, they refuse to be of any use at all to the human population of Chile or to the biosphere of planet Earth. Here they are braying and prancing about pointlessly under the San Pedro volcanoes. Perhaps there is no one as much of an ass as a wild donkey.